Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos. Today I wanted to show you how I make my 100% all natural soy wax candles using AguBlend's Soy 10. Um, I'm not using C3, I'm not using 464, I'm not using C6, I'm not using uh, ParaBlend, anything like that. I'm specifically using Soy 10 for this specific candle. Why am I emphasizing that? Because I don't want you to go ahead and if you don't have the soy tan and you attempt to do this candle and create it or recreate it and it fails, um, it's, it is because it's not the same wax. So unless you're using the AccuBlend soy tan, um, it will not work. So um, I'm using today a wooden wick or a vessel. The dimensions go as follows. The size of this vessel is 3.75 inches. It is a width of um, 4.1 inch in height. It has a weight of 1.025 pounds, an overflow fill of 13.7 ounces. The suggested wax fill for this specific vessel is 11 ounces. So today I'm only going to be filling it to 10 ounces or 290 grams. I decided to go ahead and work using grams versus ounces because it works for me. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and use two 6 inch equal two wicks. I went ahead and cleaned the vessel, the first step that I did, because um, as you can see, that cotton ball was disgusting. Um, a lot of the times, a lot of stuff falls inside of your jar. And when it's being manufactured, it has like a, a very fine oil on the inside. So if you don't clean that and you attempt to stick the wicks, most of the times they'll stick and most of the times they won't. But if you clean it with alcohol, then you're going to be guaranteed that your wicks are going to go ahead and stick. I grabbed the shop towel. The reason why a lot of candle makers like to use shop towels is because they don't have those little fine fibers that regular paper towel has. And it's a nice smooth, um, uh, it has a nice smooth surface. And when you clean it, you know, a texture, when you clean the jar on the inside, you won't scratch it or anything like that. So these are the two Eco 2 wicks that I'm going to be using today. They're six inches. I went ahead and ordered 10,000 of these, you guys. Um, I ordered 10,000 Eco 1s. So they should be coming in later on in the year. Um, but for the meantime, I ordered those from, I believe it was, I want to say it was Candle Science, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and this little device right here I got from, his name is Chris, and he has an Etsy shop. And he creates these 3D um, wick centering tools and things of that nature. So I'll leave his information um, in the description box below. I ended up purchasing these uh, wick tap stickers um, from Amazon. And I love them. I mean, they're cheap. I got $400 for $8.99. I mean, you really can't go wrong. I don't order them from California Candle Supply because I just don't feel like it's worth for me the ship the the shipment the shipping fees the shipping costs i rather just get it from amazon i'm a prime member and i get it in like two days so no big deal so the first thing that i'm going to do the second thing i'm going to do is just go ahead and tab up these wicks uh like i said i'm using that centering device and i'm gonna uh, use that to help me to guide me um, as far as where the middle is concerned because obviously I don't know where the middle is because I don't know like I said in my previous video I wear glasses and it's just better that way you know this helps me it's like a little cheat sheet that's why I put that piece of tape that you see right underneath that vessel because to me that tells me okay the camera lens is like right there in the middle that's your middle so <laughs> that way you guys could see um, but yeah so the formula that I'm gonna be using today it's going to be a total, total, that means including the fragrance oil, of 290 grams. The total is 10 ounces. So 290 grams is the same thing as 10 ounces. So how did I figure out that formula? So I wanted to use 10% fragrance oil because this is a huge jar. It's 13.7 ounces. Obviously, we are not going to fill this up to 13.7 ounces because it's going to overflow. You see that wooden lid that's right there? You won't be able to cover it. You'll squash up your wicks and it'll be a disaster. Um, so I decided 10% um, because I just felt like the specific oil that I'm using um, is not that strong. And I felt like it requires 10%. And... So as per my testing, um, it passed and I got a very nice hot throw. And so that's what I went with. So what I did was I followed 
a formula um, and the formula is as follows. So I took 290 grams, which is the total. Remember, like I just told you earlier, 290 is my 260 grams of wax, right? 260 grams of wax. And what I did to that was I wanted to add 10% of my fragrance oil. So what I did was I did 290 grams of wax and I subtracted... 260 grams of the wax so 290 grams of wax so that's the uh, an issue it's a little bit confusing but try to try to um try to keep up <laughs> the 290 grams of wax is your total remember it's everything combined it's the it's everything this 10 ounces complete so we're going to slash that and we're going to do 260 right so we're going to do 290 grams of wax minus 260 and you're going to get 30 percent fragrance oil so you're going to get 30 so 30 is the fragrance oil i'm not good at math but i'm that's the way i'm explaining it to you if you don't understand just let me know in the comments down below and i'll do a video showing you exactly how i came up with that formula um for my fragrance load so for example my wax holds up to 15 percent of um fragrance oil so it holds a lot this specific soy 10 wax holds up to 15 percent I don't know about C3, I don't know about C6, I don't know about 464, I don't know because I don't use that, but this soy 10 holds up to 15%. So I am choosing to use 10% of fragrance oil in my wax. So 290 grams divided by 110 because I'm using 10. If I was using 8, it'll be 108. If I was using 12, it'll be 112. If I was using 15, it'll be 115. So the 290, in this case, is 10%. 290 divided by 110 equals 260 grams of wax. 260 grams of wax is what I'm going to be using for my formula today. So 260, as you're going to see right now, it's on the nose. Perfect. All right. So the 260 grams of wax, right? We're going to subtract that from the total weight of this formula. So we're going to subtract it from the total weight, which is the 290. All right. So remember that 290 is 10 ounces. That's what I'm filling up my candle jar with. So I'm going to subtract 290 minus 260. Why am I subtracting 290 from 260? Because the 290 is the total, is everything, is the wax and is the fragrance oil. But I want I don't I'm not going to do that. I'm going to subtract um 260. And it's going to tell me exactly how much oil I'm going to put inside of my candle. So when you subtract 290 minus 260, you get 30 grams of fragrance oil. Cuz that's what I'm doing grams. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if the numbers all collide with each other, you know, if it makes sense. So I'm going to take the 30 grams of fragrance oil and then I'm going to add that to the 260 grams of my wax to see what I get. So 30 grams of fragrance oil plus 260 grams of wax equals 290 grams total. So that's my fragrance oil and my wax combined gives me 290 grams. I know that this probably sounds super duper duper confusing. Um, and you know what? If you're a new candle maker and if you just start it, it's going to sound confusing until you know what you're doing. So I'm going to show you here with the calculator. 290 is the whole candle. See how I just touched that percent? You must include the percent. 290 divided by 110 percent equals 260 grams of wax then i'm gonna take my 290 and i'm subtracting 260 to see how much oil i'm gonna need and i'm gonna need 30 grams right there of oil so as you just saw that's exactly what i'm gonna use so i'm gonna add 30 plus the 260 and i should get 290 total 10 ounces for my full candle that's everything all right. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. I'm positive that it was because I'm hearing myself in my head and I'm like, oh my God, I confuse a lot of people right now. Um, but if you need a breakdown of this, 
I could go ahead and I can make a video specifically to this formula, specifically to this wax. Not to any other wax, not to no coconut, virgin coconut, soy, palm, beeswax, none of that. I'm only targeting soy 10. That's it. Because my mistake when I first started was I was following formulas using another type of wax. And I'm like all upset because I'm thinking this person is like full of crap because I'm following your formula down to the letter and it's not working. Well, obviously, you know what? Since I was like brand spanking new, it was because I thought that all waxes were the same. They all work the same. That's not true. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to just melt my wax to about 185, 190. I'm not going to go past 200 because if you do, then you're going to, you know, you're going to burn your wax. But um, at least 180 to 190 like that. I like to lift it up a little bit off of the heat like that in a double boil. I like to take it out. Then I like to mix it you know, slowly, you know, kind of play with it a little bit. I don't just leave it sit there and then, you know, let it get super duper hot. I just kind of just check it. I stir it with my rubber spatula. I like to use the rubber spatula. Some people like to use bamboo sticks and what have you, but I just like the rubber spatula. And I only use this for my wax. That's it. And when I'm done cleaning it, I use that same hot water that's there to clean it. And then I use alcohol and I dry it and then no big deal. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this continue to melt. Um, and as you can see right there on my thermometer, it says 176 because you just saw I lifted it off the, off the heat right there. So it brought it down pretty quickly. So again, I want it to come up to at least 185, 190. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and add my fragrance oil to that. So I'm just going to go ahead and stir it and stir it and just melt it and take my time. Um, and yeah, like I said, so, you know, today is Tuesday. Um, what's today's date? I don't even, wait a minute. What's today's date? Today is the 27th and it's Tuesday and it's nice outside today for the first time. I was thinking that for the summer, um, I was going to sell to the children outside, like to my neighborhood, um, snow cones. They absolutely love that, but I'm nervous because of this pandemic. Like I'm thinking, my goodness. You know, the kids are going to be, you know, flooding my house, not my house, at the front of my doorstep um, because they want ICs and all of that. And I'm just nervous because of this whole virus. So I don't know what to do. I don't know if I want to do that. But anyway, as you can see here, I'm still melting low and slow, taking my time. I'm not in a hurry to go ahead and um, um, melt this wax down. I'm going to let it just do its thing. I take it out. I put it on that little black... Um, rubber whatever that is c184 so i want it about there that's good um so I, that i got from the dollar tree that black thing that i'm leaning that pitch on top of i got that from the dollar tree um and i just thought it was a pretty cool thing to keep the picture nice and warm and not get too cold too fast so here i have a gram scale that i got from amazon today i'm going to be using oatmeal what is it oatmeal milk and honey from swan's candles um, and that one smells nice to me. It smells a little bit like a strong almond because I also bake. And sometimes when I'm making my tres leches cakes, um, it has, I, you know, I add almond flavoring to it. And this reminds me a lot of that. So what I did was I grabbed these little Dixie cups and again, I'm using my gram scale and I'm just going to tear it because I feel like it's acting a little funny. You see the numbers, how they just keep bouncing? I don't know. Maybe it's just me or maybe because I dropped it. I'm not sure. But I was about to add the oil, but then you see the numbers moving. It's just weird. So I'm just going to keep tearing until I get that zero because I want to make sure that um, it's at zero. So that I could be as accurate as possible. So I'm just going to remove it here just to see. All right. It looks like it's at zero. So now I'm going to go ahead and just pour until it says 30 grams. And that's what I'm going to use for my for my oil. But like I say, yeah, this one smells a little bit like almond. Um, I don't know. I just decided to try this. It's brand new. I have a lot of oils that I haven't tried yet. And I'm still ordering oils. Like, that's one thing about candle makers. Like, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are candle makers and if you're addicted to fragrance oils. I love it. And then after a while, I feel like they all start to smell the same. Uh, I don't know if it's just me, <laughs> but I feel like after a while, like all the oils smell the same. I'm like, am I bugging? Like, what's wrong with me? Like, does everything smell the same? And then I want to go and try out different scents, like bakery smells or something like that. Or because I'm not like really like a type of girl that likes those bakery smells or the fruity ones. I love florals. 
Um, that's what I like. But, you know, after a while, like I said, when everything starts smelling the same, you just want to kind of venture out to different types of oils. And I have an addiction. I'm not going to lie. So as you can see here, everything is nice and melted. I'm going to go ahead and wipe up my surface here because I spilled water and I just, you know, need to dry it up because I have um, OCD <laughs> or perfectionism and I just can't work with all that water splash like that, even, even though there's a little drop right there, but it's not a big deal. I'm working. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and just let this come down to at least 178, something like that. Um... Right now it's at 180, 181. Just let it come down a little bit more. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this oil to it. See, it's at 180. And this laser thermometer I got from Amazon. That's right. Um, so it works. I think it's I think it's all right. I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's all right. I think it's more accurate than the one that you stick inside of the pitcher. Um, even though my husband says that he believes that the one that you put inside the picture is more accurate, he says because it's actually making contact with the wax. So he's like, I think that's more accurate than this one. But, you know, whatever. I mean, it works for now. So um, as you just saw me pour this fragrance oil right in, I'm just going to stir it. I'm going to let the temperature drop a little bit. And then I'm going to just add it to my vessel. I'm probably going to let it drop to about 178 or something, 175. Uh, I think so. Something like that. I don't know. The uh, the uh, thermometer is a little bit wonky. I dropped it like twice. So I think I may have screwed it up. But um, anything like 160, um, I think it's all right. I mean, nothing's really happened for me. Some people pour hotter. Some people pour cooler. Um, I've tried both ways. Um, see, right now it's at 158, 159. I'm just going to leave it right there and I'm just going to go ahead and pour. Because as soon as I added the oil, it's like it dropped it down dramatically super fast. Um, so I'm just going to try to get it at an angle here where you can see. I started recording with my Canon again and the battery just died like in the middle of filming. So I was like, that sucks. So I have to go to the Canon store and see if they have like a battery that lasts longer um, because I really want to film with my Canon. Um, so right now I'm just filming with the iPad, whatever, it works. And so here I got a perfect pour of 10 ounces. Or a total of 20, uh, 290, not 20, 90, 290 grams um, total. And so that's it. As you can see, the picture is empty. There's nothing in it. No wax left over. And remove that and then we're gonna go ahead and let this solidify and I'll show you what it looks like All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab these scissors that I use for my, or that I used to use for my embroidery um, when I was embroidering. Um, and I find that these scissors, they work just fine. I tried using those other scissors, the uh, the wick um, trimming scissors, and a lot of the times when I use them, they're just really weak and they smudge my, my wicks because my wicks are coated with wax and I just like those scissors. As you can see, I got a perfectly smooth top it looks great. It's not filled too much to the top. The wax is not like overflowing. It's perfect. It's 10 ounces. They're perfectly centered. It looks super good. I love it. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab this electric or this LCD. I don't even know what you call it, but it's a lighter that I got from Amazon and I charge it. <laughs> so it's a lighter that I charge and it works. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just light this up to show you guys the final 
results so i hope you like the making candles with me if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this please go ahead and subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos until the next one you guys thanks for watching peace